uh, for the last question, like if you were to give um, advice to those interested in a career in um, ener energy efficiency or sustainability, what would it be? Yeah, so first of all, let's step, step back to sustainability. Sustainability is about many things at the moment. But one of the big things that everyone talks about and probably the most, most well-known one of those is about reducing the carbon footprint of the business that you're working with. Um, now, the International Energy Agency is very, very clear on this. Energy efficiency is the first fuel. Yeah? yeah. It is the first thing you do. Yeah. Renewable energy comes after energy efficiency. Renewable energy is fuel number two. Yeah. First fuel is energy efficiency. So if you're in sustainability, you need to understand energy efficiency. Mm -hmm. And, and um, if that's your career, if you're not technical, um, Look at those management aspects of, you know, becoming an expert in energy management systems, which isn't really necessarily technical, it's a management discipline. Um, if you're technical, um, then you get into the technical advisory role, like I've said, uh, you know, that, which is kind of my background, it's rather, you know, the, the engineering expertise. But, you know, it's, it's such a broad area, there are many areas you can pick on, um, yeah. you, can, you can choose to go into. Uh, it's so broad that my advice would be to, um, uh, you know, pick something and, and, and learn all you can about that and then really go hard in that area. Um, I think there's lots of opportunity everywhere in all sorts of areas, not just energy efficiency and renewable energy. In, a, a, and outside of carbon, there's a lot of concern around uh, pollution, um, you know, waste. There's, there's many, many opportunities. Um, coming back to energy efficiency, if you want to get technical, um, Having a background in mechanical or electrical engineering is pretty beneficial because it's, a, it's, a, it's about physics and, and, and thermodynamics and, and stuff like that. But don't let that hold you back. There's plenty of other opportunities associated with energy efficiency as well, including you know data, data science, measuring and management. And there's some really interesting areas which I forgot to mention about what are the emerging industry trends. We're getting use of big data now and using that big data to understand how buildings use energy and to help tune the building to, you know, gradually get incremental, gradual, small improvements, which over time add up to a lot. So there's the whole data space, uh, there's management, there's selling skills. Um, if you can sell in, you know, as I've kind of described it, you see that you often need to sell energy if you top management. If you've got those skills, that's very useful. Yeah. So don't just think you need to be an engineer to work in energy efficiency. There's a range of uh, education, if you want to get into education, lots of opportunities to, to improve education around it, around sustainability and energy efficiency. Yeah, that's a positive note to end on. So thank you so much for sharing your insights with us, uh, Bruce. Um, we appreciate your time and expertise. Thanks so much, Mara. Lovely being interviewed. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more valuable insights on energy efficiency. Bye.